The Lock Haven community is coming together to honor the life of a nine-year-old boy who police say was murdered. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Rogers shows us how a candlelight vigil tonight allowed everyone to mourn and heal. I can't even begin to describe the emotions here at this candlelight vigil as the community comes together to honor the life of a little boy that didn't even get the opportunity to turn 10 years old. In the arms of the angel. Anton Stover. From this dark old the Lock Haven boy who police say was murdered by his aunt and caretaker, Jamie Jackson. The community came together Friday night to honor his nine years of life with prayers. Dear Heavenly Father, we, we welcome you here this evening as we remember the life of Anson Stover. Songs. The sun sets free. And unity. She was probably one of my best friends. Yep. Fourth grader Juliana Hall had just gotten Stover a Goosebumps book and was excited to read it with him during recess. And I was going to give it to him when we went back to school, but we were on our Thanksgiving break, so I never got to. She wasn't the only one Stover left an impact on at his school. Anton Stover was the best little boy that you will ever meet. Mackenzie McCain says the loss of one of her students has changed her life forever. I will second guess every step I take and every move I make from here on out. I will look at every student a million times different and overanalyze everything. Making sure she never gets a phone call with news like this ever again. The news that compelled around 150 people to gather for this candlelight vigil on such a chilly night. Just to remember, you know, his memory and let everybody uh, just have a remembrance of Vance and Stover and closure for the, the people that knew him personally. She says she wanted to give her community the opportunity to honor the little boy they lost. Amazing grace. From the people I spoke with here tonight, they say that Anson Stover will be greatly missed. Reporting in Woodward Township, Nicole Rogers, Eyewitness News. Many people also donated gifts at the vigil for Stover's siblings. If you weren't able to make it or still want to donate, head to pahomepage.com for more information.